fought a fang? We fought a fang! Oh, we're in so much trouble. The Wing Feather Saga premiere, and I'm in Nashville, Tennessee with Ellie Holcomb and her kids as we hit the red carpet. I'm so excited to talk to you as a family tonight. What does it mean to you to be with mom on the red carpet? And you both look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Is it pretty fun to be here? Yeah. It's really amazing. It's really amazing. <laughs> well, what does it mean to you to get to do a project where your kids can come on the carpet with you? It's pretty special. We are in the middle of, do you all remember which book we're in the middle of? The third. We're in the middle of the third book and massive fans of this story. So to be able to come to something like this in the middle of, of the story is, is it pretty cool, guys? Yeah. Are you excited? Did you guys know about the story before mom got the job or did she bring it home and say this is going to be something that our family checks out? Um, what? We were reading it Yeah, before. we were reading it before. Yeah. Before we knew that I got to be a voice. So yeah. what did you guys do? What did y'all do when I told you that I was going to be in it? I can't remember. They screamed. <laughs> they were like, what? That's amazing. It's pretty fun. What are you most looking forward to? I mean, the thing that's so great about premieres is you finally get to see your voice attached to that character. What does that mean for you? It's really exciting. I've never done anything like this before. And I think I've been a fan of this book series for over a decade. My first tour that I ever took was Andrew Peterson. And the reason he asked me on the tour is because I wrote a song based on one of his characters, Poto Helmer, from this book. And so he happened to hear the song in the room next to the studio where I was recording. He knocked on the door and I about fainted. Because I was like, he goes, I love this song. And I was like, you inspired this song. And so from that moment, he invited me on my first tour. So to get to be a part of something that I've been a fan of for a decade and to get to come support and cheer on Andrew, who's been a deep supporter and believer in me, is humbling and really fun. I love that that is so full circle. As a singer, voice has been such an instrument, pun intended, for you to like reach people. But now having your voice be able to reach even maybe a younger generation and allowing it to have that impact. What, is, what does that kind of mean? Have you wrapped your head around that yet? I'm not sure that I really have. I know that probably for them, <laughs> this is, you look like you have a fang of dang tongue right now. <laughs> Probably for them, this is this is the coolest thing I've ever done work-wise. I mean, they were just like, we get to go to the red carpet event. So I think um, being a part of any story that captures your heart and makes you long for things that aren't quite here yet is pretty beautiful. And so um, I think they'll remember this forever. And I know absolutely. I, I have a seven-year-old and a four-year-old, and they're going to be super jealous when they see that the two of you are on the red carpet. Seven. How old are you? Seven. Seven. And we have, and then my, Close. our little, our little uh, brother Rivers, uh, he's four and he's at home. Uh, see, only the big kids can do stuff tonight. I love it. Listen to your mom. Who's your favorite character in the book? Lily. Lily. Who's yours, huh? Cal. Cal. Calmar. We're going to see Thank him Thank you tonight. for taking the time.